Hey folks, Harry here, the Irrational Loser, and in today's Minecraft Survival, we take on the challenge of upgrading our gear to the best enchantments we can get, and also taking on a bastion. So let's get to it. All right, let's shift. Ooh. This is okay. I am more worried about that guy there. Kind of glad you were there, mate. Uh, right, soul sand. Can we see any? Looks like we've got a lot, a lot of crimson forest around us. There's, there's a piglin. There's a bastion there. That's good. That will give us... St stuff for netherite upgrades. While I'm here... You okay? You good? You good? Yeah. Uh, I'm looking for soul sand, mate. Have you seen any? Aha! There are some over there. Thank you very much. Uh, not down here. Oh. I brought some cobblestone with me just in case. So I usually come in here without any building blocks and I always forget them. So, ooh. My dude, please no. Can you still get me for here? No. I can knock you off. Thank you. I did want some pork chops, so that's good. Right. Is there any soul sand? Just kind of lying about here. No. No, there is some over there though. Um, that's going to be the best way to go over there. Probably digging. Oh, do you know what? I'm actually glad that none of that fell. Because that would have been even funnier. Right, okay. So, I will grab a wee bit of this. Don't need too many. That should be more than enough. And I think us getting out now is pretty much what I want to do. Oh. <sighs> that would be so fun just to go and raid. But I do need to get back. That I get myself a load of kelp and put this soul sand to use. Kelp is fairly easy to find, you just come to an ocean, like this one, not a river, rivers do not have it and they will not spawn it even with bone meal, come to a ocean and pop a wee thingy of kelp, hopefully don't die in the process, hey, that was mine, where'd it go, can, can you not, please, there's a guy there now, Thank you very much. I'll take your speed though. Let's go over to the skeleton spawner. Set this at a water column up. And hopefully I can get a load of bone over there. Because I need bone meal. I have no idea what's going on here. But it seems to be stuck in a block. And we're not going forward. Hmm. Strange. Okay, we're at the skeleton spawner. The first thing we're going to do is pop the kelp down. This does not sit on soul sand, so it won't work if you do that. And then you just get your bone meal. You're going to need about two stacks of this. And hopefully I have enough. Yeah, I should. I should have enough because I'm not fully at the bottom. And you just grow it all the way up to the top until it stops or you run out of bone meal. And if you're on a bone meal, you can swim all the way up with whatever you have kelp-wise in your inventory and add on whatever you need. So as you can see, it just automatically stops. And then we just break this and pop that down. And then we get bubbles. And I can just whee! All the way up now to the top, hands-free. And I will not run out of air. But yeah, that's that done. I love this 
feature. And the only other thing is that you can go into these and you can swim as well, making it a bit faster, but it allows you to slow yourself down so you can pop out at different levels. And that's one of the cool things about it. But yeah, that's that done. And now it's on to part number two of what I want to get done today. So here we are back at base at the moment, and this is what I want to get done, an enchanting table. Now, problem, I do not have enough leather or books or bookcases themselves to actually get this done. So I'm going to need to go and find a whole load of cows, maybe breed up a whole load of cows as well and set up an enchantment table. And with this one, we have enough. Now we need the paper for it. So I need a lot of the sugar cane. I need 15 maybe? Because you get three with every, no, so it should be 45. There we go, that's enough. Jump in here, made a load of paper, and then we can make a load of books. I can make two out Oh no, so I need... I need 45 for each of them. Oh, I need more sugar cane. I need lots more sugar cane. So it's a one to one. Right, that should be enough. Yes, there we go, 45 books. And then we just need to transform them into 15 bookshelves. Nice. All right, so setting this up is, it's fairly simple. You want it somewhere close that you have a lot of XP. So I am going to put it over where our skeleton farm is because we're gonna get our most amount of XP there every single time. We can go do a couple of hits against the skeletons and get a bunch of XP. It's fairly simple. So it seems like I forgot to record a part where I put the enchantment table down. Um, let me just show you how it works. So, we find an area where we can pop down our enchantment table right in the centre. So you have one block space around it and then you place your bookshelves in this shape. Alright, it's like a C with uh, one being the entrance. Now, if you have 16, you can pop that there. It will not do anything though. And that gives you the full 30 on your enchantments. So yeah, that's how it works. Now let's get back to the video. Awesome, right. Turn that off and then we can jump up here. Come to an enchantment table. Throw our diamond pickaxe in there and get fortune three. Oh, and efficiency four as well. That's really good. If it was unbreaking as well, then I would have been extremely happy. Right, let's see. I mean, unbreaking three on that's going to be really good. Same with that. How are we doing on bows? Because I see quite a few. We got an unbreaking one and a power two. And then I should have a power two in here, making it power three, which is good. So I now need to continue and grind some levels. I need all of this done and all of this done. So I'm in for a wee while, a wee wait. Okay, I'm sorry. So we've got everything enchanted now, apart from the helmet, because that's off somewhere else. But we've got protection tree in the chest plate, blast protection four on breaking three on our leggings, diamond boots we've got protection four on breaking three, thorns two, which I'm a bit iffy about, and then we've got sharpness four looting three on our diamond sword, and our axe is pretty much almost perfect, and a silk touch diamond shovel. 
So yeah, it's been really quite good. Now I want to upgrade our boat. So there is a way to do this and you've just got to kind of fiddle about with things to find out what's cheaper. Um, yeah, I think that's going to be the best now. And then obviously we've got the punch ones here. And then we get some more power twos. There we go. And then we put these. Yeah, them together. So we need six for that. And that will give us a power three on breaking two, which then we can put in with this, gives us a power four punch two bow. Which is really cool. Oh, hello. I forgot that happened. So I still need to go and get my helmet to enchant that. I think it's just a case of me getting levels back up again and making sure that we've got everything enchanted correctly. So let's jump back over, grab our helmet. So we've now got a super powerful bow, thanks to our farm. And I think we're going to cost us a lot more. But um, I did have to go and get some lapis because, well, we're on sword number three. And this one has sharpness four. So does that one. Ooh. How much? Seven? Nice. So we now have a sharpness five, looting three sword. That is so cool. And I'm going to need a pickaxe fairly soon as well. So I'm going to have to come down here and get some of the diamonds that we found. And make a new pickaxe and see what we get. So fortune two, but that could give us like on breaking three and efficiency four as well, which would be really, really, really handy. Like super handy. In fact, let's be in other arthropods. We might get unbreaking with that as well. I do know. Uh, I think it's more of a case that I just put these in here just now. I slowly get levels again because I am going to need to jump out for a wee second anyway. And we'll see what we can get. Okay, so I have upgraded our area. Yes, it is looking a lot nicer, but it's not fully complete. So I have switched up. Oh, there we go. Oh no. How did I miss that? Ooh, that's bad. But I have switched this around so the water is on this side of the, the spawner now. And it comes all the way down here. Drops us two blocks down, goes along this water path here to this elevator here, which is quite a cool wee design. We have this cobblestone deep slate wall, one block below soul sand. The water brings them down, and because it's still running, there is a little thing where it kind of makes the game think that it's running into this source block here, so it kind of pulls them up quicker. And then this block here makes the skeleton stinks they can continue walking through the water to some dry land, which is really kind of cool. And then obviously bubble elevator all the way up to here, and then they come all the way along, drop down this several amount of blocks to this point, where I can come in, go to my sword, and just kind of one-shot them almost. Like so. Pick up all the remains, and then I have like the chest here that allows me to pop in a load of stuff like bones and the arrows. So that's cool. And then I can come over here. Wow. 
drop any of the extra stuff that I don't want. And then I'm going to come into here. This is for the new bow, the next one after this. So we just got this one, which has got power three, unbreaking three, and punch one. All right. This one here has infinity and power three, which takes us up to power four. And then I can add a punch one bow. And I can add that as well. And then we have this flame bow sitting here. So we now have an power five, infinity, unbreaking three, punch two bow with flame and these here. Which is really kind of cool. And that's why I like these kind of skeletons farms, because you can make a super powered bow from this quite easily but my pickaxe here which is doesn't have unbreaking on it only has 360 hits left so i do need to make a new pickaxe i'm going to chant it again this one has unbreaking three it also has fortune three so that's really kind of good if i pop these in always remember to switch them so that you can find the one that works best so this now has unbreaking three efficiency five of fortune three this is the perfect fortune pickaxe so remember to subscribe and then we just need to try and get a silk touch one which makes this such a big better thing so a few things have happened i have died like four times by accident while afking at this i have starved to death so that's not been fun. Not only that, as I have used about three swords on it, just ran through them. Um, yeah, so I now have a Smite 5 Unbreaking 3 sword, which is really quite cool. Uh, but it doesn't seem to completely one shot a lot of these. I think getting Sweeping Edge would be really, really good. And I'm wondering if. Because I've got a load of diamonds from mining. If I craft up another sword. And we see what it's got on it. Bane of arthropods. But. It might just have sweeping edge. Oh. Oh yeah. Because I put those two pickaxes together. So I'm going to use this uh, periodic attack thing. Which is a part of the tweakeru mod. If you hit. X C and you click here and you go to use you can click these or uh, it's, is it attack yes attack you can hold attack or you can periodically attack or periodically hold attack don't get what that one is so this one kind of swings the sword at a set amount of time so that it is always hitting perfectly and this one is like an afk mining machine like a stone or something like that you can just let it run now one thing we'll do is it will break the, the the item so there is a setting in here that you can turn on that will stop items from breaking and automatically go into your inventory and not be used again which is really handy as well okay so i'm back up at 34 levels so let's pop this in and oh yes we got sweeping edge three oh that's just perfect Ugh, 20 huh wait have i done something I thought, I thought Bane and Smite were non-compatible. Okay, I have no idea what's causing this. Uh, I will need to go and test it. But, yeah. For some reason, we got Bane of the Arpods on our sword. I am going to need to double check that and... Make sure that doesn't happen anymore. Um, but yeah, I mean, we've done quite well already today. And I did find out that once this becomes damaged, you can use a block of iron on it and it'll repair itself, which is very handy. But I need to figure out what's causing this 
to be like this, so I don't know. But hopefully it's not anything too hard to figure out. All right, so I figured out what was the problem. It was a mod, it was the one that turns off the expensiveness of tools, which I think is really, really pointless in game. Like, too expensive. No, just let us do it. Okay, so that is in, that is in the mod pack. You can enchant or envelope to whatever. I don't know. But that put on a thing about conflicts for enchantments and allowing you to do it, like mending an infinity and all that sort of stuff. No thanks. Like, that's a core mechanic, which I think should be in it. The expensiveness thing, no. Because there's ways around using the expensive thing, like mending. But we now have a new bow, which has power 5, unbreaking 3, punch 2, flame and infinity. A super bow, basically. And yeah, we're done. Don't need arrow. I don't need bows anymore. Or arrows, actually, because like I've got a lot of arrows. But yeah, this thing is just as good for XP now. And I can't believe I'm actually exactly zero on my XP bar. That's so funny. But yeah, it's done. We are done with the bows. That's my old one. So if I do get an infinity one, I can just pop that in that and get this again. Which is going to be really handy. So funny if I just got infinity there. But I didn't. So let's go read a bastion. Yeah, this one here. Hello. Is that a brute? I can't actually remember. Hey. No. Are you a brute? No. I have a gold helmet on, so they shouldn't really attack me as much. But I want to take it all the way up here. I don't know. Wow. Um, I don't know what kind of bastion this actually is. And I won't know until I get on it. There's the achievement. Uh, there's a brute. The brute are in the black. That's what it is. Now, I need to find some chests. But this gold is just too good to pass up. 16 blocks of gold for that? That's so good. Right, let's see if we can find a chest. Yeah, I don't think this is the best of bastions. But I do need to get up the way. So we'll jump up here. Yeah, this is kind of where I need to go. Oh, hi. Ow. Yeah, you can hit me there. Uh, right, there should just be a chest here. Ah! <gasps> no! A lodestone is quite cool, though, but there is no... Netherite upgrade, which is what I really wanted. Right, we should have another chest somewhere. I did spot it, but I can't remember where it is. Is it in there? Oh, wow. One, three, five, eighty-five. Right, my next question is up or down? down. Should not confuse me like that. Oh, we got some ancient debris. That's good. But no netherite template. Which is what I want. I'm just going to double check that I haven't missed a chest or anything. Yes, I have. Whoa, God! <gasps> yes! 
Right, cool. We get some gilded blackstone as well. And some netherite scrap. That is so good. Oh, but yeah, my heart's pounding now after that. Right, let's try and get out of here safely again. Without being murdered by these brutes. Whew. Okay, awesome. So we now have the netherite template. We can upgrade our diamond stuff up to netherite once we get it. Which may take us a wee while. Ooh, you're going to attack me, aren't you? Hopefully not. But yeah, that's such a good, 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 good find. I went the wrong way. Too busy trying to run away from them. Oh, but gee, yeah. That's what I hate about the nether. It's a good thing I'm not in hardcore though, because I think I would die a lot, lot more. I think I just seen a brute over here. Pretty sure I saw that. Now, I'm sure this is supposed to work when it's in your offhand. And it stops the 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 hoglins from attacking you. I'm sure it's supposed to work when it's in your half hand. Like I know that. Oh no. Oh, I almost thought it did. Huh. Maybe that's why I die so much to them. Oh, I do need one though. I'm so happy I got that though. Right, let's jump back to the overworld. <sighs> oh, it's night. I should have checked that. But don't go in there, please. It's not. It's not safe. Trust me. You will die. Well, okay. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> <laughs> 